one of the things that we want to talk about is what we were discussing a little bit ago, and that is the significance of this NASA war document that was found on the NASA website and the need to urgently get this out in front of, of many, as many people as possible because of the content of this document. It was on the NASA website, and uh, it was a document that actually is a PowerPoint presentation by Dennis Bushnell, the chief NASA scientist at the Langley Center. And it was presented in 2001, July of 2001, just a few months before 9-11. And um, what brought my attention to it on page four, it said the presentation is based in all cases upon existing data, trends, analysis, technologies, no pixie dust. And the entire premise of the document or the PowerPoint is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. The Illuminati, the most wealthy, rich men on the face of the planet, always telegraph everything that they're going to do. So the fact that it was on the NASA website, it was certainly available to the public. And what it said, which was quite shocking, on page 93, it said, capture, torture Americans in living color on prime time. And that is an unbelievable statement. Then it's followed up by saying, terror attacks within the continental United States using binary biologicals take down critical infrastructure. They are going to use an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse. They're going to use um, radiation frequencies against our brains, etc., and conduct serious psi war and collateral damage and exploitation. On the same page 93, they say exploit CNN syndrome. Now, CNN, of course, is the network, the news media network, propaganda machine, and was set up by the CIA. On page 66, they say, increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large. Humans are too heavy, too tender. Humans are too slow, both physically and mentally. And we require huge logistical trains, meaning we cost way too much money to maintain. And humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. Can you even believe this? I mean, you're hearing this, and it's got to be rather shocking coming off of a NASA website, particularly when some of the agencies that are involved are the U.S. Air Force, DARPA, the CIA, the FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, Australian Department of Defense, and other agencies. This is the corporation's agencies. We are USA Inc. We're no longer under a constitution as proclaimed in the Iron Mountain Report, which everyone should read. We wouldn't have a legitimate government with the war machine stating what they were going to do on the continental United States to all the people. And this is not just in the United States. This is a global planned attack and assault with technologies beyond most people's comprehension. For example, on page 45, beam weapons increasingly prevalent. This is how they're going to attack. Uh, they talk also about, um, on page nine, this is very interesting and horrifying. <laughs> Humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution. They're going to direct evolution. They believe, the they, the bankers, the global elites, believe that they have accomplished immortality. And they're doing that, again, keeping in mind that this entire document is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. Uh, they also talk about... Um, Microdust is a weapon. They say that this micron-sized mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs, the dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. They say it's a completely new type of warfare, and it is legal. It's legal. This is what they're going to do 
to all the humans on the face of this planet. It's all legal. And then they talk about how um, the use of frequencies will be used in warfare. They talk about the use of low frequencies, microwave frequencies. And they mention in this NASA document the use of frequencies to target uh, the enemy. We're the enemy. And they say 100% of the human population will be affected by these frequencies. Uh, people are experiencing all kinds of health maladies. Uh, what they're doing is they're jamming our immune systems with these frequencies. They have methods far ahead of anything that we uh, have available to ourselves, such as cancer cures. They don't get cancer. Uh, there's chip mechanisms that we understand can fend off certain frequency attacks. Uh, we also know that they're interested in transhumanism. So much of what they're doing globally, they're interested in. And to what extent uh, they're uh, affected by all of the um, chemtrails and all of the nanofibers that are uh, being dropped, which is phase one of mm -hmm. the first protocol, they acknowledge that it will interfere with our performance, that it will cause seizures. They acknowledge this in this document. We have to stop looking at for more verifiable proof that people are becoming sick. This is the goal. This is the absolute goal. It's incarceration, it is enslavement, and it is depopulation, and it is massive mind control. There are documents that are, uh, for example, the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document, it's a 41-page document. This lays out, it's an operations research and technical manual. This, uh, this document was uh, the 1954, build, a 1954 Bilderberg policy at the first Bilderberg meeting. And this laid out the strategy to control the human population. That this document should not be released to the people because it is a declaration of war. This is the war plan. So we have to go to the war plan. This is only 41 pages, and it's not hard to read. They talk about how it was engineered in the last half of the 1940s, the new quiet war machine by 1954. So this document talks about a combination of irresistible attacks upon humanity and how they will control humanity. But the very last statement in this document, it says, factor six, cattle. Those who will not use their brains are no better off than those who have no brains. And so this mindless school of je jellyfish, father, mother, son, and daughter become useful beasts of burden or trainers of the same. So what they say in this document is they will dole out poisonous foods. It's not what we need, but it's what we want. And those that decide to eat these foods will have the consequences of that. They tell us uh, how they set up all the social engineering, how they devise the family, how they crumble the family, how they set up the war machine, how they influence thinking uh, in the family unit to allow the family to give up their children to war for a rich man's fodder. They set themselves up to protect us, to keep us crippled, to numb us down with foods so that our pineal gland is interfered with. We're never able to reach our higher consciousness. And right now, the massive fluoridation across the United States is to collapse the ability for us to think. They're shutting us down right now. They take your baby and make it Rosemary's baby. That's exactly right right. At all the documents, uh, the Iron Mountain document, uh, even the NASA war document talks about uh, there are too many people using too much stuff 
and the earth cannot support this. And they've come up uh, with the fear-based uh, scientific fraudulent information that people are now accepting. They're rewriting history and they're rewriting science with the idea that uh, people are using too much uh, uh, resources. We have to reduce CO2 and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And that is flying through every city across the world right now or in the silent weapons document one of the reasons that they send uh, our men and women off to war is to reduce the population because they have stolen from them they've taken real labor service in exchange for illegitimate false fiat money so they have to eliminate the creditors that's another aspect of war is to reduce the creditors. But uh, it's all based on the false um, uh, pollution that is not false. They've created the pollution. When you look at the Iron Mountain document, you will see the methods in which they were going to create pollution. They even say that they will deforest us, and they're doing that with the chemtrail, the secret chemtrail or geoengineering program or weather modification. Actually, that program has multiple layers. Not only does it uh, increase weather events, uh, we're, we're being hit globally. They're hitting our food supply. It does reduce our food supply. It will increase the cost of our food. Uh, it's changing the pH in the soil, which will then uh, fit to the prescribed Monsanto mega corporation food takeover of the globe. That is the intention of Monsanto, is global food domination. They have the seeds. The seeds will uh, grow in the polluted soil that they are creating. This is all by design. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to take over and that we're going to see changes within the United States that have not been seen in 500 years. It's just not efficient to continue with humans. We have a think tank that is plotting and scheming against humanity because they believe that uh, it's too frail. And the levels of technology, the length of time that they've had technologies are unbelievable. What they also say in the Iron Mountain documentary is that they will control the educational system, that uh, they will uh, replace the education system with computers. They're saying that in uh, the NASA document, too. Everything will be telecommuting, teleshopping, teleentertainment, teletravel, teleeducation. This way they can rewrite history. Everything will be on Kindle, and it'll be very easy to change books, to change the language. The reporter now is saying a soft sunshine. They're rewriting our definition of what a sunny day is supposed to look like because we're under the constant vellum of this secret, non-existent uh, atmospheric poisoning of our skies. So they're rewriting our vocabulary. They're rewriting everything about us. And they're keeping us so sick uh, from the fluoride, from the aspartame in the food, all of the dyes and chemicals on everything. On page 98, a typical scenario Take down of the U.S. by 10 people and $10 million. Binary biologicals, imported vitamins and clothing, the food supply will be poisoned. Terror attacks with um, uh, vaccines and with um, viruses. Uh, they talk about uh, our railroads will be attacked. Selective anti-personnel with um, radiation frequencies, microwaves from the towers. The water supply will be contaminated uh, via intercontinental unmanned vehicles accompanied by serious psi war, and that's the CNN syndrome. So they're telling us here how easy it would be to take down the United States with these new technologies. We've got to expose this. Yeah, thanks so much for all this information, Deborah Tavares.